Hi, I'm Brianna Lobuskis. I write psychological thrillers and I'm here to give you a tip about editing. Um, so editing is kind of hard because we're so in depth with our books and we are so, so much a part of us and um, it's kind of like ourselves on the page and you get so into it um, that you can kind of find it hard to distance yourself enough to be able to recognize where you need to um, edit. <laughs> um, and so I just have a few practical tips and then a few um, just bigger ideas about editing. Um, my practical ones are to get distance from the um, from the manuscript. Uh, so I work on a deadline usually, so I don't really have like three to six months to kind of give it, you know, fresh eyes, which is the ideal. If you could, if you can let a manuscript sit for three months, do it. Like that will give you the freshest eyes you can. If you can't, there are all, all sorts of tips to do, um, like including, my favorite is to have a word app read aloud um, the manuscript. And so you can really hear typos that way huge. Um, but you can also hear dialogue. Dialogue sounds really clunky sometimes um, when you're not reading it aloud. And even if you're reading it in your own voice, when you're going through and revising, you can kind of miss how clunky it can be. And if you're doing information dumps and everything like that, that will really help you catch that. Um, and pacing also, when you kind of start losing your you know, attention when you're listening to read aloud. Um, that's kind of when you're losing the reader as well. Um, there's also ways that you can send it to Kindle apps or different kind of reading apps that you can change the text and you can read it like an actual book. All of this is gonna give you a little bit of distance. And so that's what you need to be able to see the holes in your manuscript. Uh, another kind of tenet of editing for me um, that's less practical, but is more of something that you need to internalize is that, you know, it's, if you're having an issue, it's not usually where you're having an issue. It's usually about three to five chapters back. Um, a quick example of that is I was, uh, in my current work in progress, I um, have two people who are working together and I had them be friends and I was not getting any kind of tension on the page. I was not getting any kind of, dynamic relationship that would keep the readers interested in turning the pages. And I was about 10 chapters in and I was like, this is just not working. I'm writing myself into a corner. I went back to like the first chapter where I realized that I had them be friends first. And I changed that. I was like, okay, they don't know each other. They're going to learn to know each other. The readers are going to get to know them. They're going to have more tension in their relationship. And that just fixed everything it cascaded through and helped the pacing pull it through. So that's just kind of a thing to think about is like, if you've written yourself into a corner, it's usually not like just a paragraph ago. <laughs> like go back and find just, even if it's just one thread, pluck at it until um, everything, you'll kind of see how everything unravels. So those are kind of my uh, quick tips for uh, editing.